Hello people, the man with the pan is back again and today's recipe is going to be in three parts. Part one is the introduction to all the things that I'm going to use in order to make this recipe. All my utensils, my kitchenware and everything else. So let's start. This is my camping stove. I have a few spare dishes. I have a pan to toast the bread. I have a kitchen towel. I have a spatula. I have a grater to grate my ingredients. I have my broken knife. I have a lighter for the stove. And I have a white cutting board. Part two. I've got my ingredients here. So today I'm gonna make a simple toasted cheese sandwich. I'm gonna toast the bread on the pan, put some cheese in it, and the bread will be toasted with butter. So there's three ingredients here, bread, cheese, and butter, and that's it. Okay, so we've got our bread, we've got our cheese, we've got to cut the bread and grate the cheese. So let's start processing our food, right? But there's a thing missing, music. That's better. As you can see, I'm not the best cutter of the bread. That's because this knife is not a bread cutting knife. I should have a bread cutting knife, but because I don't have it, this will do. So we get two slices of bread and this is what we are gonna cook with. So let's put away all of this mess, clean up the table and then get on with the grating of the cheese. Now, as you can see, we've got our cheese, we've got to grate it and continue. This is how it looks. You have to grate it finely. You don't coarse grate it. If you like cheese, you can put a lot of cheese. If you don't like cheese, you can put a little bit of cheese. But you always put some cheese in a cheese sandwich. So, I think that's enough. We've got enough cheese here. And let's begin cooking. Okay, now it's time to cook. So, let's get started. But before that, cooking music. Get your stove, get your pan, light the stove if you can, and then put the pan on the stove. Get it heated, and very simply just pick up the knob of butter and spread it, sort of rub it against the surface. I don't know if you can hear it, but in the background, it's starting to rain a little bit. You can hear the thunder. That is just enough. Get your hands, clean it out. Take your bread and put it sideways so you can fit it on the pan. Just roll it all over the butter so that it will soak the butter up. Rub it everywhere, don't roll it. Get some more butter, put it on the pan again. And then pick up more of 
your bread and put it on the pan once again. Now let it toast there for a bit. It's got to look golden brown. Oh, it started to rain now. You can almost hear it in the video. Now with your spatula, just keep checking. Just keep pressing it. It's very important that it gets cooked evenly and gets golden brown. Ah, still not done. We need more on that. Just turn it away, put it on another part of the pan. Try not to burn yourself like I did the last time. Ooh. And that, my dear friends, is thunder. Not lightning, thunder. So we've got this here, we've got things cooking. Just turn down the heat a little bit. Oh, I'm loving the smell in the air. It's not just the toasted bread, it's also the rain. I think this bit's a bit done. We can just flip it over. You see how nice it looks? That's what it's going to look like. Now, you can take it up, put it aside again. Back to your butter. Get it on the pan. Okay, pick up your slice of bread and put it back on the pan. The smoke that you see is because the butter's burning a little bit, so make sure you don't burn anything. Be safe. Just pick the pan up and put it inside slightly further to the side. Press your slices a little bit to the side, a bit in the middle so that everything gets cooked properly. Then turn them around sideways along the length. And I think now is the time where we start putting on the cheese. So very carefully, you don't want the cheese to end up on the pan. Very carefully, pick it up in small chunks and put it just carefully without burning yourself on the bread. You see, I dropped some on the pan. I'll have to clean it up later. Oh, I burned myself again. Every time is a new time to burn myself. We've got this bit that's ready to go on the bread. Voila! There's your sandwich. Just let it melt on its own. Clean up the table a little bit. Clean your hands up. If you've got rain in the background, don't forget to enjoy the rain. Look out your window. As you can see here, the cheese is starting to melt, which means you should not be able to separate the two slices. Oh yeah, I can't separate the two slices. It's ready. So I'm gonna put this cheese away. Just put it to a side. I'm gonna get my blue plate. And I think, just put a little bit of cheese for decoration to the sides. Take my sandwich up and voila. There you go, job done. Perfect cheese sandwich. And that's it for today's recipe. We'll return with another episode of Man with a Pan next time.